Most of y'all will never understand how hard it is to be a Georgia fan. Um, Georgia's winning nine to nothing over Kentucky. Georgia's, Georgia has three possessions, three field goals. Um, and even defensively, ha hasn't played great. Uh, uh, only forced one punt. Kentucky's first possession, they basically drove all the way down the field into the red zone, turned it over on downs. Their second possession, they drove back down into the red zone again. They threw an interception in the end zone. Their third possession, they did have to punt. Um, Georgia, three possessions, three field goals. It's just, I don't know what's going on. I, 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 look, contrary to popular belief, I do not like getting on here and talking shit about Stetson Bennett. I don't. I don't look forward to doing it. I know what his record is. I know Georgia won a national title last year. I know what his stats are and all that. The guy's just... There's just something about him. I don't get it. Staring down Lad McConkey like they're dating. Um, we get down there in the red zone. Georgia's got like a, a, a stack formation to the left. Darnell Washington by himself, split out to the right. Single coverage on a corner. Darnell Washington is 6'8". Bennett never even looks at him. Bennett, literally the minute the ball is snapped, Bennett does this and looks right at Lad McConkey and throws a terrible out route, incomplete. We got to kick a field goal. Um, Bennett's got, I, I think, uh, two or, well, let's see. He's only got like two completions that are past the line of scrimmage. This is another thing that drives me up the wall about Georgia. Stetson Bennett's 10 of 15. That's nothing to write home about. For 74 yards, he's averaging 4.9 yards. No touchdowns um, and, and, and no interceptions. No runs either. And he had several chances where he could have and should have ran, and he didn't. It, it, I, look, I, I don't know what else to say about the Stetson Bennett thing. I, I, I mean, I I'm beating it into the ground here, but... Um, we get the ball back again with like two minutes to go until halftime, and I'm just so condition now to watch Georgia shit to bed in these end of half possessions. I'm just have no expectations at all in those circumstances. And basically Georgia got lucky because they weren't trying to do anything. They were running the friggin' ball. McIntosh happened to get loose and, and break a long run for like 40 yards down to the Kentucky 30. So then they had to try to score some points. Otherwise they never would have. But of course to drive Boggs down again, um, you know, because Stetson can't complete a pass. Pass the line of scrimmage. It's just frustrating. Georgia's not going to lose this game. Georgia will dominate this game in the second half. Georgia will probably cover the 22.5 point spread. It's got nothing to do with any of that. It's just frustrating to have, I, I don't know. Look, when you hear me bitch and moan about Stetson Bennett or Georgia's quarterback situation in general, you have to keep in mind that I'm never really only talking about what's going on now. This has just been a, a situation at Georgia for just far too long now. And I am more than appreciative for everything Stetson Bennett has done. But for God's sakes, can we start playing a quarterback that has a fucking arm and can throw the ball. And quit telling me he can. If he can, he would. Doing it w once every other game, that just is, it's just not impressive. And again, yeah, we're going to beat the shit out of Kentucky. They're terrible. They're not any good. Uh, you know, we're going to blow them out. They might not even score. You know, we might win this game. What is it now? Nine to nothing? We might end up winning 37 to nothing or something like that. I don't know. But, God, I can't be the only Georgia fan that watches this offense and just gets frustrated beyond belief. I can't be. Um, it, it just gets frustrating to watch. It just gets frustrating to watch. I, I don't know what else to say about it anymore. I... The milkman. You know, his nickname has always been the mailman. <laughs> the mailman always delivers. Yeah, he delivers jet sweeps and hitch passes and swing passes four yards behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, this week, he got an NIL deal with a milk company, and he's officially changed his n a nickname to the milkman. Well, it uh, <laughs> appears to me that today against Kentucky, Stetson Bennett might be lactose intolerant. <laughs>